Seven keys to making the right decision the first time and every time. Every entrepreneur has to be a decision maker, even when, even with information overload. Emotional employees, angry customers, and competitors hovering from every direction, making a decision without thinking or overthinking things to the point of no decision are both deadly in business. The challenge is to find the right balance and make a good and timely decision every time. It's tough. It's a tough challenge, according to Ohio State researcher Paul Nutt. Business decision makers today fail about half the time on initial decisions for their organization. Examples often cited include decision which led to the demise of Pets.com, Excite, and WebVan. Although these cases involve strategic thinking, operational decision mistakes are even more frequent. Much has been written about the thinking process of more successful decision makers, including Warren Buffett and Elon Musk. Some reserve time daily for reflective thinking despite a busy, hectic schedule, while others use regular sub sabbaticals away from the office for mental refresh, yet they all seem to have similar thinking habits in their day-to-day decision-making process. Number one, stop to think before jumping to a decision, especially in a crisis or under stress. It's tempting to make a snap decision based on gut feeling or prior similar experiences. As leaders, the approach, the approaches you take to asserting control and making decisions set the tone for the others to follow. Set the model for always thinking first and acting with deliberation. Number two, focus fully on selectively on issues of consequence. Trying to spread your attention across many issues concurrently does not work. First, select only the issues which are important to you and delegate the reminder. Then give the select matters your full attention for a timely and thoughtful decision. Don't overthink any issues to no decisions. Use person-to-person interaction to confirm your thinking. Most business decisions issues are complex enough to suggest the need for direct input from a key constitute or to test your understanding. While text messaging and emails may seem like may seem more expedient, these do not convey the tone or body language you need to make the right decision. Number four, allocate contiguous time and process for critical decisions. Many short dialogues in chaotic environments separate by other activities do not facilitate deep thinking or lasting decisions. The cost of recovery from a bad decision can far outweigh the effort of managing the thinking process with the right people, the right place and for the right time. Think past a potential decision to plan for execution. Planning the next steps before finalizing a decision will validate your thinking or perhaps clarify that more work is required. Decisions are made without proper consideration for execution consequences often lead to more serious and continuing issues. Extrapolate your thinking far into the future. Communicate your thinking as you deliver a decision. Decisions delivered as edicts are never satisfying and may actually cause backlash that negates a good decision. Respected leaders have no qualms about summarizing their thought process on an issue and take the time to effectively communicate the key points to relevant constituents. Number seven, manage and monitor the actual resulting implementation. Even the best thinking and good decisions can be undermined by unforeseen events or people misunderstanding small course corrections made quickly and follow-up communications can forestall major new organizations make and make your decisions the right one the first time. The ability to make the right decisions on a timely basis is what defines you as an entrepreneur. It's not a skill that anyone is born with and it is one that you can de- definitely learn and improve your habits over time. For new entrepreneurs, I recommend that you seek the assistance of a mentor that you trust and not be afraid to ask for assistance from your peers and senior advisors. While new technology allows you to act and react more quickly than ever before, none of these tools are a substitute for thinking, deliberating, and making your own decisions. 
Ultimately, every business is about people interacting with other people. Your challenge is to convince them that they are at the center of your thinking.